I don't know, we're cheating me here, let's play Sonic Adventure. Now, I've quickly named the Chow, I've given the stuff that I want. Called this one Conan. And... Oh, this one just hatched. By itself. That was... Okay. I didn't, I didn't even hatch this one, this one just hatched by itself. I was gonna leave it and see how long it would take for it to hatch. Okay, then. And I named this one Isal. I'm, I'm not sure how I pronounce his name. In all honesty, I gave him a gorilla thing and it reminded me of Gintama, so I thought I'd quickly look up his name. <laughs> Alright, get out the water, you. Actually, I think that's what I'll name the other one. <laughs> Where is the other one? Alright. I'm not gonna feed this one because this one came out too early and he's annoying because of that. <laughs> you know what? I'll give him a mole. Got a little bit of each stat there. Uh, okay, I deposit you in here, and then we're gonna go to Tao's workshop. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, okay, here we are. I'm just go through here, and it's saving. So yeah, that was that. We're going to head our way to the um, next section of the game. We're going to fly the tornado. Um, I'll quickly go over the controls, and then I'm going to like start talking about something that I said I'll talk about um, later on in the Let's Play. Better do it now before I forget, because this might be the last part that I'll record today. So, yeah. Sonic, wait here for a second. Oh shit. <laughs> Sonic, Hell's the arrow, Will. See, it's kind of like Sonic 2, where we get to go on the tornado. Except this tornado is actually built by Tails, because... Uh, no, wait, no, this is Sonic. Um, the tornado we saw earlier was by Tails. Even though Sonic's one got shot down, but it came back, so. It doesn't have, I don't think, yeah, I can't see the ending on it anymore. Basically, what you can do is you hold down the button, and you can lock on and shoot, or you can just press the A button to shoot. I did not know about the lock on thing for ages. Anyway, I'm going to put the controller down, I'm not going to bother playing. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say is about the fact that I have three GameCubes. And I said it was a bit of a funny story, so I thought I'd... Bring it, bring it up. Um, okay, basically, I got a GameCube in my first one. It was a silver one. Probably about two, 2005, 2006. And I got it pretty late, um, but I really wanted one at the time. I didn't really know anything about Nintendo before then. <laughs> um, and I saw a little thing on a newspaper, and it was, there was like a competition where you could win one. I know the question was who is Mario's brother and I hate myself because I do not know because I never played Mario before that. So I asked my friend and it was like, oh it's Luigi. And my controller's vibrating on the floor. <laughs> you, you could, I bet you could probably hear that actually. I might let it keep doing that. <laughs> and um... Yeah, so I, I tried to, um, I, so I went to my mum, oh can you go and submit this into competition please, I really want it. And I was just like, please, please. And then after, a, like, a, I didn't hear about it for ages. And then, um, like, about, I don't know, a month or something, about two months, um, I got a, saw a GameCube, and I got a GameCube. And for, like, the next five or so years, I always thought that I won it from a competition, but no, my mum actually bought it for me, which was very nice of her. And the games that came with it was Mario Kart Double Dash and Sonic Adventure 2, and then later on picked up Sonic Adventure 1 and... Um, Luigi's Mansion. Um, uh, these were um, 
that those uh, Luigi's Mansion was my brother's pick, and Sonic Adventure was my pick. And then later on we got like the Star Wars games and Mario Party and whatnot, but anyway, later on, the Wii was coming out, and I really wanted a Wii, and I needed some money, so I went to sell my GameCube to one of my friends, and um, I sold it to my friend for like £20, and um, he was happy with it and he liked GameCube. And then later on, I wanted the GameCube back because I started getting into collecting and stuff. And I wanted a little thing at the bottom where you could plug in the Game Boy Advance port in it. So, um, pl plugging Game Boy Advance games, playing on your TV. So, I bought that, but I needed the GameCube, so I bought the GameCube that came with it, which was about £20. So, theoretically, you could say I gave my friend a GameCube to get a game another GameCube with a Game Boy adapter at the bottom. But then later on, my friend was running out of room in his room, so he gave me the GameCube that I sold to him, but he didn't want any money for it, so he just gave it back. And um, I had two GameCubes, and then when we was moving house over to here, my brother didn't want his GameCube anymore. He was going to chuck it in the tip, because we were chucking stuff in the tip, and I was just like, no, because I, I, I can't stand the sight of seeing a GameCube being chucked into a tip. <laughs> So yeah, um, I just got that one before he put it in the tip. <laughs> Which means I should have like two or three sets of cables, but apparently not. I couldn't find one bloody cables for it. I found the plug, but I couldn't find the scar. Either way, we're now back into the game. Let's talk to this lady who stole Luffy's hat. Please don't buy a swimsuit. You... Oh, I don't want to see your polygons in action. No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute, you stole her hat. Which means you also stole Luffy's hat. La la la, we're in love. Oh no, I'm so embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> what do you have to say? Oh wait, you do say something different, okay. I'm the hotel manager, call me if you need anything. By the way, a girl with pink hair came here and headed over towards the casino and it looked like someone was chasing after her. Oh, great. A girl with pink hair. Ah, uh, Sega, you really finally decided to put Clarice in the actual game. Sonic, wait up. I mean, a nice Knights crossover will be good. Oh, this girl. Oh, okay. Oh no, let's run away. Let's stay on the sidewalk though. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Amy, we can now play with Amy. And this area is locked, sadly. And if we talk to this guy, he'll say, No, 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 you cannot go here. No, 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 that's a bad thing, blah, blah, blah. It's my job to stay here. So, yeah. We've got Amy tagging along with us. Can't see her. But that's, um, it's kind of like Final Fantasy where they walk into you and then after they. Go, um, they're in your party and stuff, so if I press start, I can view their stats. I might give Amy some material and shit. Uh, yeah. Pretty much it. I love that line. Cheesy hardware. Well, too bad you're not cute, Amy. <laughs> you can't go. Looks like Sonic and Zero are going on a date. <laughs> what am I dating for? <laughs> and now we're in Twinkle Park, the next action stage of the game. The music here is pretty awesome as well. You can, um, 
uh, ahead you can see some bumper cars, you can actually go in them and you can ride them. And later on there's actually a mini game that you can play with just these bumper cars. I'd recommend hitting all of them, then after you can't... Bitch. <laughs> I recommend hitting all of them, and then you can't, you know, get hit while you try and get one. Which colour do I want? I don't know, they're all so awesome and... I think I might go with blue, because I'm blue. Okay, so, <laughs> forgot about my monster. But yeah, controls pretty much A to accelerate and you can turn the analog stick. But if you let go of the accelerate button, you can turn a little bit easier. Yeah, so you're pretty much just speeding through this. If you bump into um, enemy cars, sometimes you can lose rings. Um, or, you know, um, they just make them blow up. If you whack into them while they're about to, um, you know, coconuts the monkey. Um, while they're about to throw a bomb. Then sometimes you can lose some rings. And it's no good. Okay. <laughs> Great voice acting there, Sonic. Yeah, well, um, speaking of the voice acting, I think the voice acting in this game, while it has its ups and downs, I actually really like some of the voices. Like, I like Sonic's voice. I don't like losing all my rings, though. But yeah, Sonic's voice is pretty good. He's voiced by Ryan Drummond. Um, I, I quite like his voice actor here. It's... Probably my favourite. Mainly because it's not too deep and it's not too... Um, four kids, but... Hmm. I still like the, um, Roger Craig Smith, and Jason, Jason Griffith gets better, um, eventually, so. Yeah. Um, I mainly grew up with, um, Ryan Drummond's voice actor, though, so. But, I did partially grow up with, um, Jason Griffith, and, yeah, I, he grew on me as well, so. Overall, the voice acting in this game is good, but it has its downsides mainly with tails because he's voice he's voiced by a kid and the voice is there but the acting isn't <laughs> but either way it's a good to start I'd say my main problem is the cut cutscenes in this game you don't really see much going on they kind of just stand there and I don't really like that um, Adventure 2 does a bit of a better job of it um, like you have scenes where they're running and scenes where they jump towards each other and shit. You know, it, get, it gets a little more better. Ugh. Well, that was close. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that. Now, if we go around here, you can actually get some extra rings, I believe. Here they are. Something really weird for some reason is that they changed all of the textures in this GameCube version and they're still the same in the um, HD version um, on the Xbox, PS3, PC. Um, yeah, in the original Dreamcast version they had different like textures. I have no idea why they changed them. I mean I don't mind too much, I'm kind of used to these ones. Did I really just do that? <laughs> okay, be running time. Without, you know, trying to get hit, maybe. <laughs> Probably shouldn't try this while I'm recording. <laughs> oh, I see. Ah, yeah, there's a thing out there, isn't it? Oh, and I lose all my rings. And it was just a ring box anyway. Okay, you better give me all my rings back. Because I am going to try and get this. See, what's the best way to get it? Obviously not like that way. Well, it did remind me. I think I have missed uh, one ring box somewhere. Well, not a ring box, an extra life box. Is that it? No. Actually, I could probably get that from here, actually. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting away from there. <laughs> I thought there was an extra life down there. Wait, let's have a look. 
Sonic Head's in the way. No. Okay. Just imagining things, or maybe I'm thinking a bit later on. I don't know. I love how much you can just explore in these levels, though. And because there's no ranking, I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> no, I can't... I kind of like there not being a ranking, to be honest, because... Oh, well, this is the bit of the extra life I was thinking of, actually. Oh, wait, is that an extra life? That's, um, invincibility, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I like just being to be able to run around freely like this. I think what they should do is... Like, kind of like what Sonic Lost World did, where you have it as a little extra to get the rankings and stuff. I like that better. Because, like, throughout the story mode of Lost World, you didn't get rankings, which I quite liked. Because, obviously, your first time going through, there might be a chance you get the highest rank, but... Because it's your first time, especially if you've never played Sonic before, you kind of prefer not to seem like you suck. <laughs> okay, there's an extra life here. No, maybe I was thinking of that. I don't know, I'm pretty sure there was another extra life somewhere. Oh, wait, what's the... That's the invincibility, okay. <laughs> Knowing me, if that was an extra life, I probably would have jumped and got it. <laughs> Let's show off a little spin dash um, thing here. Or light... <coughs> light speed dash. Should be another light speed dash section here somewhere. I actually know, it's a bit before. But there's rings some around here somewhere anyway, so I can go get my actual life ring-wise anyway. So yeah. And there's that level done. It's a theme parky type level. Um, I guess you could kind of base it off of um, Casino Night, um, just because that was kind of theme parky. But overall, it's kind of like a new concept. Which does get revisited in some later Sonic games, so. I quite like the concept of, um, you know, Sonic going around with a roller coaster and, Welcome to Twinkle you know, and the bumper cars and stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, shoot! I've lost Amy. I bet that robot hauled butt after her. I'd better catch her before it does. Oh, snap, guys. But it looks like we're almost running towards the end of the episode, so. Good thing is it's now saving. Oh, and it's automatically um, dark outside. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to pick up this card, but we're going to do that next episode. So yeah, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.